YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have this box from Henry Bendel's that I want to open for you. I got um, a Louis Vuitton inspired piece of jewelry in there that I want to show you. And before I do that, I have a couple more little birthday gifts that I got. It was a belated birthday celebration with a friend of mine. We couldn't get together. We couldn't work out our schedules and get together until about a month after my birthday. So I want to show you what I got. I got two really cute things, actually three. Where's the other thing? Here it is. Um, three really cute things and some beautiful purple tulips. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen those there. But my friend gave me these little dog iron-on patches. I have no idea what I'll do with those, but they're cute. He knows I love dogs. Um, also got this pen, which is kind of a um, cool little contemporary art, modern art sort of design. And then the big gift, which I think is absolutely hilarious, are these headphones. And they have, hold on, I put them on backwards. They go this way. He told me the cord, the retractable cord, goes on the left side. So look at these. Aren't, isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's, and funny, it's hilarious. So now I'll be able to, uh, it's really cold today, it's in the 40s and 50s in Houston today, which we are not used to here. So I'll be able to edit this video and keep my ears warm at the same time. Also, I'm really happy that I'm able to film in my room today because it's cold. Whoever has the air conditioner that sits above my room, whatever apartment has that, they're not using it today. So it's actually silent in my room and I can film and watch in the middle of filming, it'll come on, we'll see. So far it hasn't been on this morning, that's so nice. The office finally told us yesterday that what they're going to do is take that AC unit and move it away from our apartment because they're not sure what else to do with it. They've tried a few things and nothing has worked. So I'm really looking forward to being able to use my office again because I haven't been able to use it at all since all this started. And it's been very frustrating because one of the Actually, the only reason we moved to a two bedroom apartment is so that I could have my own space because I didn't have that in the last apartment that we were in. And it was very frustrating trying to do YouTube in the living room when people are in the kitchen and other spaces trying to use common space. The other thing I want to show you before I open the um, Bendel box is if you watched my apartment tour, you saw that I make dog bowls for my dogs and I didn't have one for Roxy yet because she is new. So my mom and I went last weekend to this place called the Mad Potter in Houston where you paint your own pottery and then they fire it for you and glaze it for you. So this is the bowl that my mom made for her dog, Lily, who comes to visit sometimes when they both come over and spend the night. And that is a Lily that she painted inside. So I thought that was very fitting. And then she signed it on the bottom um, with her initials and the year. And then I painted one for Roxy. And here it is. So it says Roxy's food. And then there she is. She loves to roll over on her belly and get belly rubs. And she is part dachshund, so she stretches all the way around the bowl. And that's why she's upside down on the bowl. And she's got her little mohawk, which several of you commented on. It is such a cute thing. I love it. But, oh, in the inside of the bowl. Um, I still don't know her all that well, so I wasn't quite sure what to paint in here because she's only been with us for about a month and a half. But she reminds me a few times of a monkey. Um, I think her long fur and something about her look and her legs, and especially when she had her diaper on when she was in heat, um, she just kind of looked like a monkey. So I did the dog food with some banana pieces inside. I thought it turned out well. All right, let's get inside this Bendel's box. Um, I got these items from a private sale that they had recently. If you are signed up with Bendel's, I'm sure you got 20 emails about it. And they had some really great deals there. And this jewelry piece is something that I had had on my wish list for quite a while, probably a few months and I just didn't want to pay the price for it, but they had this great sale, and then I also had a $50 coupon from them um, for spending X amount of dollars on my Bendel's card. 
So here's what it looks like inside the box. They sent the small Bendel's shopping bag and this would be my receipt. It's pretty bulky, there's a lot in there. So it's got the, um, the receipt, the little packing list. It's got the Bendel's like history card in there. It tells about the company. And what is this page? I don't wanna pull the receipt out because it has my address on it. Uh, the return policy, if you need to ship it back in. I have a store near me so I can ship it there or just take it over there. Here's paper. Um, all I really wanted was the necklace and since I had the $50 coupon, there was some kind of thing where if I spent a few more dollars, I'd get free shipping. And when I am faced with that opportunity, I always spend a few dollars and get more shipping, free shipping because I would rather, you're either gonna pay for shipping or you're gonna pay for another item, even if it's a few dollars more. So I'd rather give money and get an item back rather than just get free shipping. So I've got two things in here and I actually forgot what I got. So let's see, I know this will be the jewelry piece. I'm gonna open that last. And then what is this? Okay, this was on sale for $6. I'm almost surprised it's not in a box but it looks like it made it here okay, so that's all right. Um, so it's just a little ceramic mug, and I think this is Tiffany inspired, would be my guess. It says Henry Bendel there, and I Heart HB. And then on the bottom, it says it was originally, I don't have my glasses on, hold on. It says it was originally $15, and it was on sale for six. So there it is. But I said I think it's Tiffany inspired because if you look on the Tiffany & Co website, they have uh, a set of two cups like this that are Tiffany blue and they say Tiffany & Co and I think they're white inside with a white rim. And what those are is a ceramic version of the little paper cups that they have at the Fifth Avenue store. So I think that's why Bendel's made a cup this style. Um, it's because it's very similar to that Tiffany one. So I got that and then this i forgot that i got this so here we go this is a candle bendel's candle and it's manhattan spice and i'm filming editing and putting this video up today and bendel's has a sale going on today only and today is november 10th 2018 where they have their candles for 15 dollars um this candle was originally 15 dollars but uh i got it cheaper. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Let's smell it and see. That's nice. It's sort of cologne-y. I'm not a big fan of the Henry Bendel candles, the scents personally. I think they smell a little too perfumey. Um, I prefer more natural flavors. Like I'm, I'm really boring when it comes to candle flavors. I think I like vanilla and stuff like that. Um, opening the jewelry piece now. But if you are into candles and you like Bendel's candles, they have them on sale today. So this was originally, does it say 98? I think so. Yeah, so it was originally $98, made in China. Okay. <clears throat> so that's why I didn't wanna pay this much. I don't pay that much for jewelry. I'm not big into fine jewelry and spending a ton of money on jewelry. I'm more of a costume jewelry kind of gal. I guess if I had, um, bunch of money I could spend on jewelry, then I probably would be into it, but I don't. So when I have a bunch of money, I spend it on handbags. I have to like pick and choose what I want to save up and spend money on. Um, okay. So here it is. It's a necklace. And the reason I wanted it and the reason that I think it is baton inspired is it has these little flowers on it. You see they're little crystal flowers. It's gold. I don't know if it's gold plated or what the actual metal is, but it has those little flowers and it's a little bit longer than a choker. So it's not a super long necklace at all. Um, and then it has a bit of an extension. Let me put it on the longest extension so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so that is the absolute longest this necklace will go. 
It's just a pretty dainty little thing with the flowers. And then let me put it on the shortest length so you can see that. Okay, this is the shortest length. So you could wear that um, with a neckline that would show it off. And it's, a, it's not a choker, it's a little bit bigger than a choker. That's really pretty. I think that's probably where I'd wear it personally is at the shortest length there. I wanted to show this to you guys because if you're like me, you like some of the Louis Vuitton jewelry that has these little flowers on it, but you're not about to spend that kind of money on it. So I thought this was a good alternative. And also I have purchased a few jewelry pieces from Henry Bendel and I've, I feel like they're overpriced, but I also feel like the quality is pretty good. I haven't had any that have tarnished on me or broken. So that's why I was willing, like this with the $50 coupon was still almost $50, I think. And it may have been on sale for $88. So maybe I paid closer to 40-ish for it. But let me see, it's got, show you the design here. It has two flowers. So here's the clasp up here. Then it has two flowers right here that are set into the necklace. And then it has one, two, three, four, five flowers that dangle from the necklace. And all of the flowers have crystals in them. And then between the flowers are little sets of crystals, little three crystals there. So it's very pretty and it's kind of Vuitton inspired. They had some stud earrings that were the little flowers, but they sold out when I bought this or before I bought this, so I didn't get those. They also have a bracelet that matches this, but it only has, I thought about getting that, but it only has one little flower hanging from it and then it has some other Henry Bendel stuff. So for me, I thought this was the best piece of the three because you can always just wear little diamond studs or CZ studs with this or little gold studs. Um, but I thought that would be such a pretty little thing and since I'm into Vuitton like a lot of you are, it goes with that style and would go with the monogram bags or any of the other bags. It's a beautiful little dainty necklace and it could be dressed up to go out. It could also be an everyday necklace, I think, with t-shirt and jeans and stuff. So I will, if it's still available, because they do sell a lot of things on Bendel's website, if it's still available, I will link it below. If not, go look at some of the other pieces. Look for, search in the search bar there for flowers or florets, I forget what they call them. They may have some other pieces that have these flowers on there, like the bracelet. I just took a little break to have breakfast and I remembered something. I have a, a link that you can click to get $25 off of a $100 purchase at Henry Bendel. When you go to their website up in the, see the top left corner, it says refer a friend. That's all that link is. You click on that and it gives you a link you can send to people. I've had a few people use that already from previous videos and what that does, it gets you the 25 off 100, but then when you make that purchase, it sends me a coupon for $25 off a purchase. And I've got about five or six of those coupon codes now. I'm not gonna use them because I'm not gonna be making purchases that are that big and that many purchases that big at Henry Bendel. So what I'm gonna do is link those, or not link, but list those coupon codes below in the description box and they can only be used once, so I'll just put them out there and you can use them on a first come, first serve basis. So if it works, then great, and if it doesn't, then somebody else has already used it. Also, I just walked back in the room and the whole room smells like this candle and it's really nice. It isn't as perfumey as I said at first, and I don't know quite how to describe it, but it is like a spice. I mean, it's called Manhattan Spice. So it's like a wintry spice, which is what I was hoping for. And I'm gonna go ahead and light it up while I'm editing. That sort of uh, perfumey, chemical-y smell has gone away and it's, it's a really nice wintry spice. It smells like Christmas. So I just wanted to update you on that. We went to the farmer's market this morning in the cold and I posted this on Instagram and I'm gonna put up a picture of the dogs and I at the farmer's market. They, wore their little coats today for the first time this season. And Roxy has never been in a coat. She was wearing one of Sebastian's old coats and it's too big for her. So I've got to get her a smaller one that fits her. So I'd love to know what you are up to this weekend, what your big plans are. And then Thanksgiving is coming up very soon. So I'm gonna start thinking about that. I'm planning a few holiday videos, like some gift ideas. And once I decorate for Christmas doing um, 
Christmas decor, little tour of how I decorate my apartment. Maybe a gift wrapping video, cause I have fun with gift wrapping things. And I did that professionally once. I had a job as a gift wrapper one season at FAO Schwartz. So if you have any ideas for videos you would like to see related to the holiday season or something you'd like to see before the end of the year, would you let me know that in the comments section? Cause I'm getting all that together now and trying to plan out um, the rest of the year with videos and I'd love to know if there's something in particular that you'd really like to see. I was also thinking of doing one about how I make my custom Christmas cards. Would y'all be interested in seeing that? And I think some people were last year when I showed you the card. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to click the like button. Let me know what you think of this necklace. I, I think it's really pretty. I'm happy with it. If you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to, please hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell notification icon and that way YouTube will notify you when I post a new video. Thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.